I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I finished my tea, and now I'm going to show you guys how I season my oxtails, yes. Because that's what we're eating for dinner tonight. So I'm going to show you guys what we need and how we're going to prep it, okay? As you all can see, I have my bell peppers. Clean these before you cut them. I have a yellow onion, garlic, and I have my scallions. Clean it before you cut it. My all-purpose, my all-purpose seasoning. It's a Caribbean seasoning, all-purpose. My oxtail seasoning. And I got this oxtail seasoning right here too. We're gonna finish all of this because it's almost done. So we're gonna go ahead and cut these up in three, two, one. Okay guys, so we're back. My meat, let me back up some. My meat has been cleaned. So just in case somebody's like, oh, she ain't clean her meat. My meat have been cleaned. <laughs> My meat have been cleaned with vinegar and water. I washed it. I went and got, you know, some of the excess fat off of here. I know you can still see some fats, but I went and got as much fat as I could off of each one. These are some big behind oxtails. So that's that. And then we have all my cut up veggies. Let me put it down. We have all my cut up um, veggies. So bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, green bell pepper, onion, scallions, and the garlic is really up under the scallions. So there we go. So let me show you guys how I season it. And again, all purpose, I do not, I do not go by tablespoons or anything like that. I just, let me, I can't even do it like that neither. I just open it, season. Season, all purpose seasoning. And this all purpose seasoning got salt, sugar, paprika, black pepper, garlic, onion, cumin, coriander, ginger, Jamaican pimento, celery, thyme, oregano, okay? So then we're gonna go in with our oxtail seasoning. Our oxtail seasoning, see? As I said, I got the two. And I'm gonna do another one. I don't wanna do this one. This one smells like really salty. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw that one away. Let me go open up that one. That one smells like really salty, so I'm gonna do this one. And just season it. Like that made me cough. I don't want no seasoning that's gonna make me cough. Okay, so. All right, I know somebody's like, that's a lot of seasoning, but these are some big behind oxtails. Man, we're gonna put we're going to put that back. Even though this um, all-purpose seasoning got sh sugar in it, I like to just put a tablespoon of brown sugar. I went to the Jamaican restaurant and I asked the lady, you know, because I'm like, I'm doing everything the right way, but mine is just not tasting the way you guys make it. And she told me, add brown sugar. So... Ever since I've been adding brown sugar, it has been really good. I also clean up as you go. So, and then I'm using this pimento. I didn't show you guys this seasoning. I'm using this pimento seasoning. We don't have time here. I have not been able to find time. So I'm just drizzling like this, like this. This is, this is um, really, really, Thick. You actually have to shake it up before you use it. Okay, so I got all of that. I'm gonna use my hands. 
and my hands are clean. So, go in, season it, and we'll put all of it together. See, guys, these are some big behind oxtails. That's why I use all of that, all of that seasoning. Because these are some big old oxtails. I got five pounds of oxtails. And after we got it, me and my husband was like, we should have asked for the smaller, the smaller um, ones. But hey, these are huge. It's like everybody, well, it's only three of us, so get like two a piece, basically. And oxtails are freaking expensive, but my daughter just loves them. Take our peppers and our, all our seasonings. And we just gonna put it in here. Okay. And just put it in here. I wish I had some time. Guys, this it just smells so good. Just by the seasonings, it just smells so good. So I just put it in here and I'm gonna wrap it up in aluminum foil. So that's that's that two hours later so the first thing i do guys as i take my coconut oil and i put it in my cast iron skillet i let the oil heat up before i even add in my meats and as you can see then next i add my meat i do not saute my veggies first i add my meat so that they can brown i noticed that when i add my veggies first my meat does not brown as good as i want it to get and by browning i just mean like get a little crispy get a little dark around the edges okay so we're gonna let our meat brown for 10 minutes here this is in fast um, speed so you won't see the whole 10 minutes but let your meat brown for 10 minutes that's something that my mother-in-law had taught me once the meat um, is done browning you're gonna see well I'm showing you the meat okay and <laughs> yeah so once the meat is done browning you're gonna take the meat out of the pan yes you're gonna take the meat out of the pan and then you're gonna add in your veggies are your cut up veggies and you're going to let that saute until it gets like a translucent color well the onions get like a translucent color the bell peppers are going to be kind of tender and soft guys you will notice when your veggies are translucent okay so you're just going to cook 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 <laughs> And next, what I'm going to do, I am going to take my beef stock. I learned this off of YouTube. Um, I was watching somebody cook oxtails too off of YouTube, uh, like way, way, way back when I was trying to learn how to do it myself. And I always use beef stock and I love it. So I am using beef stock. I am pouring it in that same bowl I had the oxtail in because I want every seasoning that I put on my oxtails to go in that pot, okay? So, pour, and then I'm going to take water from out of the faucet, from the filter out of the faucet, and I'm also gonna pour that over the oxtails. You do not want your oxtails to seem soupy because when they are soupy, there's not a lot of gravy if that it's gonna be it's gonna taste really watery you're gonna water down the oxtails if you put too much liquid inside of it so here it looks like I barely have enough of liquids in my oxtails but guys when it's done and when it's all said and done I do make sure you clean up as you go wash your hands as you go um, now I, I am adding the browning seasoning to it you can add the browning seasoning before if you want to but I just like to add mine in the pot because I don't care for the taste of browning that much so I like to just add mine to the pot of liquids so I can see advice I taste you do not taste okay <laughs> so as you can see now the oxtail have they were on boil but I was like let me grab my camera so I could show them so they were boiling 
I put them down between one and low. I don't have a simmer on this stove, but if you have a simmer, put it on simmer. And the time, it was like one something. I showed you guys, it was like one something. I am back. The, um, let me take off these. So I am back. The oxtails are done. I remember, oh shoot, what I did. Okay, the last time I showed you guys the time, it was like one something and six something now. And here we go. I'm going to plate the food. So we have, I'm going to plate the food. I'm going to tell you how good it turns out. I did not forget to pick back up the camera. I, huh? I got in the bed washing clothes. Say it again. I already put it. I already did it. You put all the towels in here? Yeah. All right. Let me see. Let me see. So I got in the bed washing clothes. So I can finish cooking. What about, your, you got any towels that need to go upstairs? What about, um, I had to get that blanket, put that blanket in there too. Can I close it? Yeah, not close it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and plate the food and then we gonna get into it. guys so much for watching i'm going to go ahead and end today's vlog and if you like the content and you love oxtails and i taught you something new let me know down in the comments below if you tried the recipe and you do like it okay so until next time guys i'll see y'all tomorrow bye